Welcome to the Federal Highway Administration's Innovation Conversation Audiocast. I'm Peter Run, Transportation Safety Engineer with FHWA. In this conversation, we'll talk about the Everyday Counts initiative that promotes safe transportation for every pedestrian or step. Today, I have the distinct pleasure of chatting with Mark Cole, Assistant Division Administrator in the Traffic Engineering Division of the Virginia Department of Transportation in Richmond, Virginia. And so, Mark, you know, we know nationally that the numbers are going up in the pedestrian fatalities, but maybe you can talk a little bit about those numbers and some of the things that you guys are uh, doing with regards to uh, improving it. Uh, Yes, good morning, Peter. And as you mentioned, um, pedestrian deaths are up uh, nationwide, and that is no different here in in Virginia. Uh, Prior to 2016, we were experiencing about 80 to 90 pedestrian deaths every year on our roadways. Uh, And unfortunately, in 2016, we saw an over 50% increase and had over 120 pedestrian deaths um, in Virginia. And what's even more concerning is every year since 2016, we've maintained that new higher level. Uh, So we've been doing a lot of work here at VDOT to try to understand what's going on so we can try to help the situation and try to get those pedestrian deaths moving towards zero and eventually eliminated here in the state. So that's great. I'm really excited to see that you guys are wanting to make some improvements in this area. So how did you guys hear about STEP and why did you guys decide to step in? Uh, Well, we heard about STEP through Federal Highway's Everyday Counts uh, program. Uh, We get a lot of correspondence from Federal Highway on a uh, daily uh, basis and are in great communication. And once we heard that STEP was one of the initiatives uh, in Everyday Counts, we knew that it was something we wanted to do. Now, you guys decided to jump in really early, didn't you? Uh, We did. Um, It just so happened that we had begun some in-depth pedestrian work in our safety group in 2015. And so we already had kind of our feet wet uh, and we're starting to make some good progress. And so the timing of Everyday Counts uh, and when STEP came came on board uh, couldn't have been better. Uh, So we were really excited to, to start that up and to get working on an action plan and see what that did for us. You know, a lot of places they hear about this initiative and they take some small steps, but you guys really decided to uh, make a long-term plan because you knew that it wasn't going to be something done overnight. Could you tell us a little more about your action plan? Uh, Yes, uh, we actually did a action plan uh, through the STEP program working with Federal Highway uh, that we finished back in October 2018 that really focused on uncontrolled intersections. Uh, But parallel to that effort, we had already begun a statewide initiative to develop our first Virginia pedestrian safety action plan that took a very comprehensive look at pedestrian safety issues in Virginia uh, and looked for ways where we could improve uh, pedestrian safety through our day-to-day business. It took a look at all our VDOT policies and procedures, uh, things that we do on a day-to-day basis or that we require uh, to make sure that we had policies uh, that were strong uh, in regards to pedestrian issues and that ensured that what we create in the transportation environment uh, is safe for pedestrians. Uh, We also wanted to create a toolkit of safety countermeasures for pedestrians as part of the action plan. And then finally, uh, we did a lot of uh, data analysis and research uh, to find the locations on our public roads where the risk for pedestrian safety issues is much greater. Uh, So we created a map uh, with uh, identification of pedestrian priority quarters so that we can focus our limited transportation dollars uh, on pedestrian improvements in those locations. Uh, Our hope is that by focusing on the worst locations first, that we can really get a head start trying to bring down uh, our pedestrian crash numbers. So Mark, can you tell us maybe at the state level with regards to the different uh, stakeholders that you guys are bringing to the table and uh, how that's working out? Uh, Yes. Uh, Well, what I would say about uh, highway safety in general, and especially pedestrian safety, is thankfully Uh, We're not in this alone. Um, It takes all of us on board trying to work on the strategies that we have to improve uh, pedestrian safety to be successful. So on our stakeholder teams, we've wanted to make sure that we had representatives uh, from not only VDOT, but from those other uh, safety partners so that we can get a more complete picture um, of the pedestrian safety issues that we're trying to help. Uh, So our stakeholder teams have involved uh, representatives from 
all the major VDOT divisions that include our location and design division, our planning division, um, our maintenance division, some of our field offices to make sure that we have a complete picture uh, of what's out on the ground uh, here at VDOT. Uh, but in addition to those VDOT representatives, we also had several uh, locality uh, representatives, uh, mostly from the transportation planning or engineering office uh, that were involved in our stakeholder team. Uh, we also had a representative from the uh, Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles, which is a huge partner for us, and they do a lot of work in the education and enforcement arenas. Um, in addition, a uh, fairly uh, new member of the team uh, over the last year or so that we're real excited about is our Virginia Department of Health, uh, because what we've learned is the Department of Health has done a lot of, a lot of work uh, with communities and with the data uh, to really draw that health connection. Um, and highway safety is definitely a public health issue. Uh, we're excited that we just uh, are completing an update of our pedestrian action plan already. In part of that update, uh, we incorporated uh, the Virginia Health Opportunity Index, uh, which is an index that the Department of Health here uh, produces uh, that gives an idea for every census tract in the state of your opportunity to live a long, healthy life in Virginia. And what we found is that over 60% of our pedestrian deaths occur in locations uh, that receive a very low or low health opportunity index score. Uh, so there's a great correlation there between some of the health uh, indicators um, and pedestrian safety. Uh, so we've just scratched the surface on that, but we're excited about seeing where it goes. Um, and it's just an example of the wealth and variety of information uh, that can be brought to the table when you engage people outside of just your little uh, box or your organization. That's great to hear. Can you tell us a little bit more about the uh, implementation, maybe some of the treatments, and then maybe also with regards to um, prioritization of projects as well, different methods? We have been busy trying to implement uh, some physical infrastructure projects on the ground to improve pedestrian safety here in Virginia. Uh, we've really been focusing early on on crosswalk um, enhancements, uh, both uh, to make sure that we have crosswalks uh, where they're needed, but also to make sure they're as visible as possible and in the places where pedestrians want to cross. Uh, some of the work that we did um, made us aware that in over 70% of the cases where we have a pedestrian death, uh, there was no marked crosswalk available uh, within half a mile of that location. So we've really been looking to add crosswalks where they're needed, and that's been one of our primary initial enhancements. Um, in addition to that, we've been working to install pedestrian countdown signals um, at our traffic signals in uh, pedestrian uh, quarter areas. Uh, and we've also been doing some work uh, to strengthen our road diet policy and guidance to make sure that we can make those changes as well uh, when resurfacing happens uh, and through other projects so that we can uh, get the benefits of those improvements. So Mark, really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us today, but there are many states out there that are you know, just at the beginning stages and they want to make these improvements. What advice would you give your peers out there with regards to getting on board, stepping up and uh, making uh, roads safer for pedestrians? Uh, one thing I would say to peers is just to remember that we're all in this together. Uh, the pedestrian safety issues uh, that we've been facing here in Virginia with the increases is not just a Virginia issue. Um, as we've talked about, pedestrian crashes and deaths are up uh, across the country. I would offer to any of those who are listening, uh, if you've heard something about Virginia's experience today that you're interested in, we're always happy uh, to have a phone conversation or to help out any way we can to share those resources. Uh, and the more all of us do that, hopefully over time, uh, we'll build a library of best practices and techniques that we can use to try to uh, make good improvements in the area of pedestrian safety across the country. Uh, there's a lot to be learned from the data, um, and I think as much as we can use that data to understand the issues and implement some of these ideas that we've talked about today, uh, we're going to really start to make a positive difference. Mark, this has been great, and thank you for taking the time to share your experiences with STEP. We know it's saving lives across Virginia and across the country. This has been an innovation conversation. For more information, 
please visit the Federal Highway Administration's STEP website. Thanks for listening, and goodbye. Thank you.